Hi, I'm Michael Kroos. I'm Mr. Bug Guy from MrBugGuy.com, and today I want to talk to you about German cockroaches. If you've ever had German cockroaches, you know what I'm talking about, okay? It is a real problem, and it is a problem that once you get them, you can never seem to get rid of them. What exactly are German cockroaches, and how do you know that you have them? Well, take a look at this picture. You're going to see... I guess you could say a complete life cycle of German cockroaches. Right down there on the bottom, that's an egg case. Okay, the eggs in you know, inside that egg case, there's about anywhere from 30 to 40 eggs that will hatch out as little baby German cockroaches. So that is something that you can, you know, tell is going to be a real problem for you. Now, the next thing you see is the little baby cockroaches and then you see them growing. Those are the nymphal stages. And then up there on the left hand side you see an adult male and an adult female. One of the interesting things you'll find about the adult female is that she's carrying one of those egg cases with her. Now she carries those with her until they're just about ready to hatch and then she deposits them. There's an egg case right there and again for each one of those 35 to 40 some baby cockroaches that are going to be coming out and breeding and continuing the life cycle. By the way, they breed a lot. I mean, there is a lot of German cockroach breeding going on in your house at any given time if you have an infestation of German cockroaches. Here's another one of these females you can look at once again with the egg case attached to her abdomen ready to protect those eggs so that they will hatch out. Now, how do you know that you have German cockroaches? Well, that's a good question. Take a look at this. This is a picture in a cupboard, and you can see the German cockroaches right there next to the hinge, and you see all that brown stuff around there? That's their poop. If you've got German cockroaches, you know it. They're going to be in the kitchen. They're going to be in the bathrooms. Why? They like the moisture. They like the constant contact of the moisture uh, in the sink area and all around the kitchen because there's a lot of food there. In your bathroom, believe it or not, there's a lot of food too. It's called toothpaste on toothbrushes. Isn't that yucky? Okay, how do you get them into the house? Well, here's the number one way that we get German cockroaches in the house. You bring them in with food. They really love to come in with produce. They also like to come in with cardboard boxes. Yeah, cardboard boxes, especially cardboard boxes that have food in them. I remember one time, now understand I'm a bug guy, one of our kids was playing soccer or something and they sell the candy, you know, for the fundraiser. And just before we went out of town to go to Disney World for the weekend, uh, on a Friday, we uh, got a box of that candy. I set it down in the kitchen. Little did I know that the box was full of German roaches. When we got back Sunday night, we had German, and I opened up that box, we had German roaches. There were German roaches all over the box, and they had worked their way into my kitchen, and they were already, you know, feasting themselves and laying eggs and, you know, taking up housekeeping. So, once again, German cockroaches can be a real problem. Now, the next question in your mind is, how do you get rid of them? Well, that's a good question. Let's talk about that for a little bit. A lot of people try a lot of things. They try bug spray. You know the bug spray that you buy at the store? Guess what? It doesn't work. And let me tell you why. All of the bug sprays that you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's or any of these places, they work on a lot of bugs. They really do. It's good quality stuff, to tell you the truth. But they don't work on German cockroaches because German cockroaches have built up resistances to them. The bug sprays that you're going to buy at these stores are what we call synthetic pyrethroids. So they are what we call repellents. The German roaches know they're there, they just work around them. Another popular thing to do is fog. You know, you buy those little foggers and you put them off in your house and uh, you have to leave the house. You know, you open up all the cupboards. You can see in this picture, you can see the foggers on the floor. They've opened up all the cupboards. And you come back and you find a lot of dead German cockroaches. But guess what? You haven't solved the problem. You've only killed the ones that are exposed, the ones that are out there. The other ones are digging deeper into your walls and they're going nuts. By the way, another safety concern about these foggers. Number one, that stuff gets everywhere. It gets on everything. And I don't know if that's something you want to do. And something else. Take a look at this house right here. This is in California. 
It's a small house, and they had German cockroaches and wanted to get rid of them. Guess what they did? They bought 19 foggers and released them in the house, and the house was all closed up, and they released these 19 foggers, and I guess there was a pilot light or something, I'm not exactly sure, but kaboom, the whole house was destroyed because of people fogging their houses. Fogging's never a good idea, and by the way, it just doesn't work. Okay, so how do you get rid of German cockroaches? Well, I'm a professional bug guy, and I get rid of German cockroaches for you. That's what I do. You know what? You don't want to see this scene in your house, right? You don't want to come, you know, wake up in the middle of the night and come out and see this. No, you don't want to see this. You don't want cockroaches. You don't want the German cockroaches in your home. We come in and we use a combination of baits. And by the way, baits are very important, but the right bait is very important and also the right combination of baits. Okay, there's some granules that we use. There's gel baits that we use. There's different types of baits that we use and every house is different and every situation is different, okay? Uh, by the way, you may have tried going to the store and getting those little bait stations. We use bait stations too, but we don't use the little bait stations that you're going to buy at the store. You know why? Because ours work and those don't. A lot of people have tried them. You know, they still have German cockroaches. We're going to spray. Oh, I just say not to spray, but we're going to spray certain areas with a non-repellent insecticide. These are products that are not readily available to homeowners, and even if they were, you have to know where to put them and how to use them, or they won't work. Okay, so we know where to put them, we know how to use them. And I guarantee that we're going to get rid of your German cockroaches. Are they gonna be gone right after we leave? No, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna do our application. The next day, you're gonna find gads of dead German cockroaches. You're still gonna see a few. Uh, two days later, you're going to see more dead German cockroaches, and you might see one alive. Within five days, you're not going to see any more live German cockroaches. We guarantee it. If you do, call us. We'll come right back out at no charge. But no, within five days, they're all going to be gone. And it's very important that you vacuum up the dead ones. I'm going to tell you something. German cockroaches spread all kinds of disease and allergens. And uh, if you've got children, if you've got senior citizens living in a house, and especially children and pets, oh my goodness, especially an older dog, the allergens that come from German cockroaches are awful and they are affecting your health. Let us get rid of them for you. Once we kill them, you vacuum them up, get them out of your house, take that bag out of the vacuum cleaner, throw it away. Your house is going to be a healthier place. You're not going to have bugs. We're going to do a great job for you. Why don't you pick up the phone right now and give us a call. In Hillsboro, uh, it's real simple. The telephone number is 813-333-1529. In Pinellas, it's 727-727. 2302330 or in Hillsboro 8133331529 I'm Michael Cross for Mr. Bug Guy have a great day give us a call right now we're going to get those roaches out of your house